Hello farmers and welcome back to the hills of Tuscany. I am fertilizing the one and only grass field that we have. Uh, I remembered at the end of the last episode I talked about, I don't want to forget doing this because this is what's going to keep our sheep and our cows happy of course. So uh, before I started fertilizing the field though, I was going around checking all the fields, making sure everything is all set for the season. Other than the grape vines, which I have to fertilize one more time, uh, everything's looking good. Uh, but the one thing I did notice, for some reason, I thought I purchased the canola field down by Production Lane. That's where our sugar beet field is. And um, apparently I have not paid for that yet. Um, so I don't own that canola field that's down there. This whole time I thought I did. Uh, maybe I thought I did because I was buying all the fields down there at one point. And I guess I just assume I clumped them all together in my head saying I bought them. So I have not. Uh, that field is 77000 We should be able to afford it next month when we sell all the candy and also some of the canned goods that we have as well. Okay, I just want to make sure I leave this on the widest working width. All right, we are good. Let's go ahead and park the 130 away. Uh, this does need some fuel along with a couple of other of my tractors as well. Um, I can either go down to the fuel depot and fuel up there or pay for fuel here at the farm and then fuel up down there which is closer and probably more convenient uh, but we'll, we'll get to there when the time comes uh, the animals are all set we fed the cows TMR last episode uh, it, it, recently and same thing with the sheep so we're all set going to the month of June I think we might actually have a field ready for harvest the wheat field could be ready that's up on top of the hill across the road uh, but step one is, are we going to wake up in the red, meaning below zero on money, like have no money in our bank account whatsoever? What's it going to be? Uh, we got our head just above water. <laughs> 5,677 is what we stand at currently. Well, uh, let's see how the candy is looking. This is supposed to be the month for it. At the market stall, market stall, market stall, market stall. All that candy is going there. That's like a uh, hundred grand there. And also, let's see, uh, the beet should be going to the market stall. I think we'll just take everything to the market stall. Even the potato chips need to go. Everything's going to the market stall. Make it simple. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to ma min-max the pricing here. We'll just do what we feel is kind of more convenient today. What's kind of convenient is uh, I didn't realize the truck was already on the little boy, and it is. So we'll grab the potato chips first, because we're right here. Now, the one thing I will do, I will buy that canola field to kind of put it all together so this upcoming fall, we can have that nice big sugar beet field that I've been talking about for a long time. And the rest, I'm going to go ahead and put towards... I say the rest. Yeah, I'll probably put the rest towards the loan. I think we're at 9.8 million? Now, another thing I've been looking at is expanding the cotton field, and I think I got the fields I want to do. And it's going to be kind of down by the market stall, so when I get down there, we'll just have a quick look at the fields in the future, maybe this fall, after harvest season, uh, and maybe through winter. And we can expand on the cotton field for next year. That way the fabric shop will have more clothing to make, and that is going to be kind of key for us. Uh, let me go ahead and just try to back in here. Actually, you know what? I gotta go to the candy shop. So let's go ahead. Swing it wide. I didn't, I didn't, I didn't approach this the right way, but I was gonna back in to get the canned goods first. I'm like, no, the whole point of selling this stuff now is the candy shop in June. Hopefully everything can load on up, but the more trailer loads, the better, because that just means more stuff. More stuff. So I guess while I'm waiting for this to spawn... Oh, never mind, here it comes. Yeah, we'll wait until we get down to the market stall, and uh, we'll have a quick look at where I want to expand the cotton fields to for next season. At least I hope so. Uh, the reason why I want to really expand on the cotton fields is because I did pay a million dollars for that machine. So I want to get my money back on it if I can. Oh yeah, by the way, I did come down here and move some pallets so we can spawn some more. So that way that production building could get back up and running. I had about 6,000 liters left inside there. That should have all gone through overnight. 
All right, down to the market stall. We'll get our first load of cash here. Probably going to be about maybe three, possibly four trips down here with various items. Another thing I got to keep uh, track of also is I forgot last year to sell them are the soybeans. I think soybeans, though, are in, are in July. So try to remember that for next month. Let's see if I can not actually collide with anything today. I probably will. I may not get it all in one go, but yeah, we're going to be starting with this under 6000 in the bank account. So potato chips, candy, a kid's dream at this market stall. Potato chips and candy. Still says, I was going to say, still says they got zero liters of uh, potato chips on there, but they disappeared. Up to 76,000. That actually leaves us just, uh, just short enough to buy the field that I thought I owned. Uh, but we'll get to that in just a moment. Let's go grab more candy. I was going to say the rest of it. I don't know if it's all going to fit on here. But it should be a good day for money coming on in. And also paying off the loan a little bit. Uh, let me sneak over here so that car will go on by. And then I can really get on in here. Yeah, and someone did mention, I don't know if I, I talked about it in a previous episode just recently, about uh, upgrading or downgrading our truck here just to make it shorter. Um, I haven't looked at the shop to see what chassis would make it shorter or not. Have no idea. But... Uh, for now, I think we're just going to stick with this truck, and in the future, maybe I'll switch over to the Volvo, or, knowing me, I may stick with the truck all the way through. I <laughs> have to wait and see. Uh, is more going to spawn here? I wasn't on top of it when they spawn. I need to load it when it's spawning. That way, it keeps loading and spawning at the same time. So we don't have to wait for it. Oh, I'm out of room, apparently. So this is why we would like more sugar from the sugar beets. That's why we planted more. Because when this month comes, we see the money rolling in. This is all the benefits from last season. So it should be roughly the same uh, money-wise. I mean, we had potato chips last time on the trailer as well. Yes, keep on bringing in the money. Oh, it's kind of trying to get in one go. Oh, that tree needs to go. I've hit that tree more than... A handful of times, it seems like. All right, not quite in there. Now you're in there. Uh, while that's selling, uh, you can kind of see the total anyways. So, yeah, this field number 16. I thought I purchased it. We should have enough money now to buy it. Uh, it's in good shape. That's that's what we do know. 76,440. Let's go ahead and buy that one. Now... Uh, our cotton field's right here. I do want to buy this field here, but it'll be the last one I buy because it's 128. And actually, we only get used to half of it because the other half is pretty much forest land. So I'm looking at buying fields 19, 23, and 24. We can probably expand on 24 a little bit. I didn't really walk down here to see what's down here. I don't know if there's buildings or anything on there. But uh, we can expand that field and make this all one cotton field. And if we look at the prices, 47, 77, uh, 105. You're talking this over 200,000 for all this, and this is 128. But uh, yeah, we only get half of it as farmland. So, yep, yeah, that's my plans for this fall. If we got the money, then we'll get it. So we're back down to 50,000, which is not bad because we just spent money on a field, and that canola, of course, will be sent down to the oil mill to make oil, so we can make more potato chips. And we should have more potatoes this year because we got two fields of taters. So the more the better. 
right, another trailer load of candy. And then I still got all the canned goods stuff to grab. Well, we got all the candy. And now we got all the carrots and parsnips on there. I don't think I'll be able to grab too much of uh, whatever is over here. I think it's going to be parsnips, right? I think that's what I put in there last year. can't remember. I'll probably be able to grab maybe a pallet or two. Loading area is full. All right, well... We got a lot more pallets on here of that stuff than they did of the candy. So we'll be back for that in just a moment. Now I don't want to drain my bank account when I repay off some of this money. We gotta keep some so we can financially get through the rest of the summer and fall. Uh, as for the soybeans, I think I got about $35,000 worth of soybeans to sell next month, if I can remember. As for the butter and cheese, that won't be until October time. And I need to keep track of that over there because that that spawning space fills up rather quickly. But this is a uh, this is good. We we're kind of able to expand buying more farmland, which I wasn't sure if I was I wanted to do, but looks like we definitely need to do that. To actually pick up the pace just a little bit on on things uh, but at the same time we're able to pay off some of the loan as well and definitely want to do the cotton just because as we get more sheep of course they're gonna produce more wool so more wool we're getting more cotton and being able to combine the cotton and the wool that we can do in our spinnery um, we'll definitely get more clothing out of that well, it makes more fabric, which then makes the clothing for us. So we're definitely going to be paying off at least $100,000. Production lane is just a little bit snug for the setup that I got. Uh, hitting the fence line there. Let's go a little bit straighter if I can. Alright, hopefully we're close enough to get the back row, which we are. So it looks like it's parsnips and red beet that we got here. I was going to be able to stack more than that. So now i got to wait just a moment. Pretty sure there's going to be a few more. Or maybe not. No, oh, here they come. Don't think it's going to be a full trailer. Because the factory didn't come to a, a halt. Yep, that's going to be it. But that's good. Uh, maybe get us up to... I think it'll be just shy of 200000 So maybe we'll pay off like 125000 Every little bit helps at this point. gas station does not mind me driving through here constantly bringing it over to the, the mini mart over here the lovely little market stall all those canned goods Well, actually, <laughs> I 
I just looked up now. I'm like, okay, where are we? $233,000 in the bank account. That is really good news for us. Um, so maybe pay off $150,000 just for now. And that way we should be financially set for at least four months as long as they don't buy anything. You know, actually, since I'm act we're in the truck here, usually I do the telehandler, but I think we'll grab the honey. And we'll bring it over to the candy shop. It looks like a lot of honey. But as you can see, as it's whoops, uh, just ran into the potato building. As you can see on the trailer, what do we end up with? Just 8,500 liters of honey. So it's not, it looks like a lot, but it's really not that much. It's good because it keeps the, the candy shop going. Now, I don't know if I'm going to be doing the cut sugar beet in the sugar production building this year or not. Um, because the sugar production seems to be able to keep up and be done before the harvest season rolls back around again. So, until the sugar factory can't, you know, if it's still processing the sugar beet from the previous year while I'm harvesting sugar, uh, sugar beets in the current year, then we'll look at doing the cut sugar beet. But for now, just to save ourselves a little bit. Yep. We all know in this truck, I'm just going to keep hitting things here and there. Uh, yeah, so I, the cut sugar beet trailer for now, I think we'll just hold off on. All right, so I think I got everything transported around. Just going to put the trailer away. Actually, the truck can just probably stay right here as well. All right, so is our wheat field up here ready for harvest? Uh, survey says, yes, it is. It is ready for harvest. Uh, but before we do that, let's make ourselves feel a little bit better about this situation down here. So can we see, yeah, we were paying uh, 33250 at, at Oh, maybe was that ten million dollars back then? It should have been three, 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 uh, right across the board. So probably we paid off some there, but we knocked it down now to thirty-two six six six. Which uh, the six six six, I don't like that too much. So let's go ahead and fix that. Like I said, well, we should leave ourselves about a hundred thousand somewhere in there. Um, let's get it down to nine million six hundred fifty thousand. So I mean eighty-three thousand. That should be. Should be good enough uh, to hold us off, like I said, for a few months. And next month, uh, I should be selling the sh uh, soybeans. I almost said sugar cane for some reason. Yeah, it says July, best price eleven ninety eight right now, and it should sell at twelve thirty seven. As long as it's going up, that's all that matters. Um, the butter is actually looking really good. The cheese, not so much, but the butter at the zero km shop, that that's eleven fifty six. Nine eighty one. We gotta go get the butter. We gotta go get the gotta get the butter. Uh the zero km shop, that's the uh sell point. It's a little tricky for me to get into. But then again, all of the sell points I try to get into are a little bit tricky. So it's the butter only that I want. Well, this could be... Oh, uh, wait a minute. I can actually set up... I forgot about this. The uh, auto-loading trailer. I can select what pallets that I want. And I have yet to really use that. Just because I just found about it recently. Now, there's our wheat field. Not really a rush to get to it. Just because the only thing I want from the wheat field... Well, we're going to get the wheat, which will go down to the grain mill. Which will make, of course, flour. But the straw is for the cows. And that is basically the only reason why we got the wheat currently. 
Now, I did landscape a road in here, but it looks like the farmer, when they planted their field, got rid of my road, which is fine. Now, let's come over to here. Can I... Well, we're going to try to sneak in here. Come on. Push the pallets out of the way. Not ideal. <laughs> we'll see how this works here. Uh, material type. Butter. So it should load the butter only. Well, I still see the cheese there. That is, uh, that is a nice little addition, I do believe. I like that quite a bit. Uh, but the butter, yeah, let's throw that down there. Did I get all the butter out of there? Um, let's just bring that over to here. That's cheese. That's cheese. Uh, it's running. There's 5,000 liters of butter in here. So what I'm going to do is allow more space for that to spawn. And looks like we still got about three more pallets of butter to spawn out. And that is all the butter that we have. Okay, now I just got to get work my way out of here. Driving 101. Minus the 100. Okay, let's not fall into the lake here. Alright, down to the 0km shop. And from selling this butter. It is the butter I want, right? <laughs> Did I grab the wrong one? It is butter. Uh, yeah, butter. Okay, we grabbed the right stuff. Yeah, we'll pay a little bit more of that loan off. Because why wouldn't we at this point? Well, uh, my next step was to harvest. I did not check the forecast. And the screen flickered and it caught my eye. Then I just realized it's raining. So... Uh, may have to hold off on the harvest until the rain stops. Well, we will, of course. We don't want to lose a yield. I don't know how much yield we lose. Okay. There is a way for me to get in here without hitting the hedges. But at least not 30 times like I've done before. Okay, that's twice. Now the trailer is rubbing against the building. But we're going to get it all in one go. So another 24,000. Uh, let's see, how far do I want to bring the loan down to now? Um, we're going to go 9.6. 9.6. That sounds good. Because that means we paid off $200,000 off the loan today. Plus, we bought a field for $77,000. So, a very good day of selling some products. Uh, the butter I was not expecting to sell. Oh, no car. Did not need you there right now. Alright, we got around them. We're good. Uh, I don't think the rain's going to be here too long, so... We'll Probably fast forward. So we can grab the combine and, and get that wheat harvested. Uh, we won't be able to be able to straw this episode. But I'll probably do it at the beginning of the next episode. I don't want to keep the straw there too long. Nothing's going to happen to it. It's not going to decompose or anything. But I don't want to leave it there too long because we're going to have a lot of field work to do, of course, in the coming months. How long is the rain here for? Uh, until about 10 o'clock-ish. So let's just fast forward. It's just going to be a light rain. 
Although it seems like it's getting darker. Okay, maybe until 11 o'clock. Luck we don't have a whole lot to do today. There we go. Technically, it stopped raining, but it's going to take a second for the rain to clear on out. Time I get up there with the combine and everything, we should be good to go. I do believe. Uh, yeah, so the combine. This should be good to go, right? No damages. Yep, next inspection in eight months. So let's go on down and get the header. The header is in the shed down by production lane. Oh, this needs fuel as well. All right. Uh, instead of me going down to the shop, I don't think I bought fuel here yet, or have I? Uh, it's empty. Um, I don't need that much fuel. Yeah, we'll just get 5,000 liters. 5,000 liters may sound like a lot, but we'll go through it. And if not, we'll go through most of it. So, actually, while we wait for the rain to kind of stop, we're filling up the combine. Uh, while that's filling up, let me just take a quick trip on over to the vineyard. I just want to see, are the grapes showing on here yet? They are not. So, we got, we got to wait for the grapes to show up. And once the grapes show up, we can come back in here and put the second stage of fertilization on them. Uh, I did mulch, I think, over here. And mulching should add uh, some fertilization on it, but we don't have weeds on, apparently. That's, what, uh, that's what's causing the second stage not activating, so we don't need to mulch, but yeah, we'll have to fertilize that field once it is ready. Let's go back over to here to our combine, which is over here. Okay, that's all fueled up. So we bought 5,000 liters, and we just took almost uh, just a little over 900 liters out of there for the combine alone. There we go. The rain has stopped, which means now we can go. All the other fields are all set. They just got to be waiting for the crop to grow, fertilize. Well, they're all fertilized. Try not to destroy too many crops here. Yep, crop destruction is going to happen. I didn't make the road as wide as I thought. Well, at least we can cut across now and get on down here. Uh, let's, let's throw the beacon on because we are going up the road a little ways. Yep, so now that we paid off, you know, a, a nice amount on the loan this summer, now I want to save up another 200000 to be able to buy the other fields this upcoming fall into next spring for ad adding more cotton. Ooh, am I not going to... Ooh. Um, all right, well, instead of me going getting a, a, a tractor, you, you saw nothing. Come on. Come on. Come on out. You want to. There we go. You should be good there. There we go. Alright, so... How far... Alright, so next time when I park the header, I gotta bring the edge of the header right to the edge of the roof. And that should be good enough for me. Alright, hopefully no oncoming... Yep, okay, that took us uh, half a second. No oncoming traffic, but luckily we get here and I got some room to pull over. tricky part is when I get up here, there's not really a good spot for me to put the header down and attach to the header before we start harvesting. So we'll try to do our best. Actually, if I drop it right here, okay, no traffic behind us, which is good kind of back up right between here F 
fold that on in. And, oh yeah, I gotta make sure the swath is... gonna be on here. It is not. And there we go. Now we got the swath. I should be able to fill up the combine, I hope, being wheat as it is. A cereal grain should fill up the combine nicely. And of course, like I said, all this will go down to the grain mill, which is right next to the store. We'll use a Lamborghini in our trailer to bring it on down. Now we're not going to have chickens or ducks here. I think I've kind of had my fill with the birds. I think Oceanside Forest kind of did it for me. I mean, even though it wasn't that hard to take care of the 10,000... Well, we didn't have 10,000 birds throughout the series. Um... But yeah, having to feed them it wasn't too bad every two months or so. At least those bird pens, the feed trough held quite a bit. I kind of like the feed troughs on animal pens that allow you to go a month in between of feeding them. Currently, like on American Falls, I pretty much got to feed the pigs every month. Which is fine. Uh, but it's just a task, uh, I don't want to say it's my favorite task. It's not one I just, I'm like, oh, I get to feed the animals today. Kind of like it, like, here for now, where it's like, okay, just gotta make sure I check up on the animals every so often. I'm sure once these pens get full, we'll either be feeding them every month or every other month. I think this flex head, this 45 footer flex head, is about the right size for the fields that we have. I questioned a little bit when I saw all the hills around here if the honeybee header, the 60 footer, would have been too long and it would have had some issues of the header lifting up off the ground in some areas and not harvesting the crop completely. Now, what I could do, and I'll have to make up my mind when planting season comes, which is only a few months away, if I want to plant another cereal crop, we'll see how much straw that we have. We still got some straw left over from last year, and it may benefit me to take this cereal crop field for making straw for the cows. It might be better for us to put a crop in... Uh, Maybe like uh, the canola. Probably. Um, because we got two potato fields this year. So we'll see how the ratio looks on that side. Of course, we got the sunflower field and the canola field that we just bought for this year. I mean, I could plant uh, vegetables in here as well. And bring that to be canned. Or made into soup. Or maybe just put more potatoes down. I may need to do that. Yeah, so one headland, I'm 60% full on the combine. I really should have the T8 behind us, the New Holland, with the baler and bailing this up, but... Since we only got to bale one field, I think that's something we can do. It's not going to be that long of a job. Then the bales will bring down to our lovely little shed.
But thinking about it, <laughs> it just hit me. I'm like, okay, this, is, this has been a good day. We, we paid $200,000 off the loan. That's nice. I'm like, yeah, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go rather well. Then if you start thinking, if I only paid $200,000 off per year, which we're going to do more than that, um, it's going to be a while. It'll take five years to pay off a million. <laughs> and then we got $10 million to repay. That's no, nah, it's gonna be it's gonna be quicker than that. Especially when we expand our our fields like we did last season to this year. We're gonna have more sugar beet, so more candy. And this upcoming fall we should have more cotton for next year. Which would be great. And we'll be selling sheep and cows in the future as well. We just gotta wait for them to fill up the pen and then we'll start selling them when they mature mostly the males will be going first and then once we get we'll keep one male in on both the cows and the sheep and then uh, once we get a full pen of all mature animals we'll just start selling the ones that are worth the most I want to put you on a worker. Hopefully you do well on your own. We'll see. Uh, Lamborghini. Nope, that's a T8. Nope, wrong way. Lamborghini. All right, grain trailer next. Now you can see this is getting... All my tractors are pretty much on the low end of the fuel side, but we got more than enough to do what we need to be doing here. We should be able to get out by the cow barn here. Actually, I need to check on the cows. Not not the cows themselves, but I think we're going to have a good amount of milk in there. And I need to bring that down to the dairy production. Which is barely keeping up with the cows that we currently have. These Holsteins are producing the milk rather fast. Yep, let's turn on my beacons here. I'm hoping you didn't get to the end and turned around, did you? No, you did. Almost, though. Alright, I can leave the Lamborghini running. Get rid of the worker. Unload into there. I may get more than just a full trailer. Uh, I don't have anything else in my silo, do I? Other than the soybeans. Uh, no, soybeans only. Everything else has been brought to wherever it needs to be brought to. And nothing else I need to be selling today, right? We'll look over here. Well, TMR, we're not selling that. Uh, butter, we just sold. Fertilizer, of course not. Um, and of course, we got some residue left over in our production buildings. Uh, boy, the price is going down and everything. <laughs> But yeah, we did we did pretty good today, I think. All right, so we're just gonna keep on harvesting this field, get it done, uh, bring all the grain down to the grain mill, so we can start producing flour. So that'll be ready to be sold in January. Do I have any flour left over? Yeah, January is like uh, on American Falls. That's the best time to sell it. Anywho, uh, let's get to getting the rest of this wheat off this field. So we can transport it on down to the grain mill.
go. Almost another full combine. Uh, the question is, am I going to get it all into the trailer? I don't remember how much that trailer holds. Combine holds, what, 24,000? So we're approaching somewhere a total of 44,000 liters of wheat off this field. It may fit all in there. Or is this the trailer that's only 30 some odd thousand liters? <laughs> uh, I don't remember. I keep getting this trailer and the one on American Falls mixed up which one's which. Now the one thing I was thinking, uh, just in that short little time lapse we just had, I did purchase that canola field, but that's the last time I knew it was a canola field. I don't think canolas, you can harvest that in June. So I'm hoping that field is the same as it was when I thought I owned it. <laughs> a few months ago when it was fully fertilized with canola in it. I think canola is not until August. But that's on most maps, but... That could be different on map to map. Let me just go ahead and double check now. Um, make sure. Well, it's ready for harvest. So, okay. Uh, I'm kind of glad that the farmer didn't didn't uh, harvest the field on it on me. That would have been kind of uh, sadding. But uh, it's it's set to go. So we got another field to harvest in the month of June. But I'm thinking this trailer only holds like 30 some odd thousand, so I may have to make a couple trips down to the grain mill, which is fine. The more the better. Let's see if it all fits in here. The Crocetto. Don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, but uh, I gave it a shot. And usually I fail. Yeah, it's not going to all fit in. All right, we'll leave the combine off, and let's head on down there in the Lamborghini. Yeah, 37,000 liters, so it's not... I thought it was 43, so that must be the one on American Falls. Yep, the Lamborghini is meant for the transportation of material... Except that when you got 37,000 liters behind you and going uphill, it doesn't like it too much. Going downhill shouldn't be an issue. Get to go past our beautiful Holstein cattle. Which they're not too far off from reproducing. A couple more months we'll have more cattle roaming around. But I should bring the milk that they have over. Just to keep that dairy production going. Although there's still milk in there to be produced. Into cheese and butter. I remember when I first started on this map, I was getting a little bit lost from the store area back up to the farm, which way to turn. But now that I made the journey more than enough, I know where I'm going. Just taking it easy on the corners, don't want to jackknife the trailer. Um, that's not a deer. That that's that's one of my sheep. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> what what is one of my sheep doing down here? 
Um, you got some explaining to do. I don't know if I'm going to use that as a thumbnail or what I would say, in it, but um, one of our sheep has roamed. Maybe it's not. Well, I mean, does it say it's one of ours? I mean, it should. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay. Um, as long as your wool goes to the spawn point, I don't care. I saw that. And I'm like, that. That's a pretty big uh, size deer over there. I'm like, that's a funny looking deer. Is that? Of course. Now I'm kind of curious. There are other ones over here. Are these deer or are these my sheep as well? Um, did they disappear? I think they may have disappeared. Um, no, well, it sounds like sheep. Alright. Time to get the drone out. And, uh... I mean, we heard them. I don't know. They disappeared now. Have no idea. Uh, but this one's still over here. That is interesting. Well, if anyone knows uh, Johnny X Pro, who is the creator of this map, if there's a Discord channel or something like that for them, uh, let them know that sheep are roaming around. Uh, what field is this? Uh, field 77, the sheep are roaming around in field 77. I gotta turn flight mode off so I can get back into my tractor here. Yeah, see, at this distance, I can still see... Those might be deer. It's hard to tell at that distance, but we did see one sheep roaming around there. Anyways, let's get this grain on down to the grain mill. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the, sh the, the sheep's wool... Is spotting where it should be, and of course, you know, we're feeding the sheep that are there. It's just a, just a glitch, glitch in the matrix. That's all it is. I mean, it seems kind of fitting. On American Falls, we got the cattle uh, roaming out to a little tiny spot in front of the cow barn, and now we got sheep. Although these sheep are roaming quite far. All right, so right after this long shed, garage, we turn in here just before the store. And wait for it to tilt back before I open up the back cover. And there it all goes. And while that's pouring on in, Let's make sure we activate it now. Uh, we're actually through all this uh, manure and slurry at the BGA. So we'll deactivate that. Um, we're out of seed, or what are we out of? We're out of water. This uh, dispenser system, I don't know if it's dispensing the water and seed or not, but it, it's going somewhere, maybe to the candy shop. Uh, let's see, that is done. We'll deactivate that. Uh, but now I need to find wheat flour. Let's go ahead and activate that. All right, so we're good. So for wheat, every five liters creates four. So it's 80%. So 80% of the liters you see here would be turned into flour. So overall, not too bad. But of course, I still got about uh, whatever I got left in the combine. I did not see, did not look. But I'll bring that on down in between episodes because uh, I still need to use that combine this month. We need to go harvest some canola. So we can get the canola on down to the oil mill, of course, to produce oil, which will then be automatically brought up to the potato factory to make potato chips. But anyways, I'm going to go back, empty out that combine, bring that on down, and uh, we should be all set to go next time. Because that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the episode. I do appreciate you watching as always, and I'll catch you again right here in the hills of Tuscany. But until then, have a good one.